So I grew up in Mount Martha, down on the Mornington Peninsula. I was I'm one of ten kids, and uh, it was a pretty hectic upbringing, and had a lot of fights with my brothers, and a lot of good times in the backyard playing sports. They give me a lot of inspiration to follow my dreams in life, and that's the biggest thing, and it's helped me out a lot, especially going through what I am right now. With his second kick and his first direct shot at goal, Tom DeConning comes in and kicks and puts it right through the middle. Where are Callum Moore's going? Yeah, Tom's great. Obviously, he got drafted in 2017 to Carlton, which was a lifelong dream for him, but also for me, I'm a Carlton supporter at heart from when I was a kid. Seeing him play AFL footy, it's just been a huge inspiration for me and a huge um, motivator for my career thus far. And He's just shown me what it takes to be an AFL player and I take a lot from his experiences, yeah. The Conning's versatility makes him a really appealing prospect for clubs within the top 20 on draft night. He plays his best footy as a key defender, which we saw throughout the middle of the season for Vic Country, where he was an All-Australian player. But he can also go forward and maybe even pinch hit in the ruck where his 201 centimetre frame is able to really tap the ball out and, and make an influence there. So it looks like being an early selection on draft night. Pretty congested forward line, so a kick in hope. Who's going to fly from the side? And in the end, it was De Conning. I was playing at the start of the year a bit inconsistent and I uh, was working on my backline craft a lot going into the Nationals and then playing the Nationals, I came in just wanting to play my role. That was a big thing that Lee Brown brought to the team and everyone bought in and we all played our role and being a part of a successful campaign was a really good thing and i played with a lot of good boys in the back line with the likes of Hayden Young and Lockie Ash off the halfback flank, which really helped me out. And I think that the success that we got as a team and as an individual was pretty well earned with all the commitment that we did going into it. So I think that post then I've had a few mishaps with injuries and illness, so the, I couldn't really take the momentum into the back part of the year. but. I think my year on a whole has been pretty successful and I've met a lot of good people and made a lot of good friends along the way. But it's marked and it's done nicely by De Koning. He's looked good in defence. And he goes up the line and a big fly from De Koning in front. My dad uh, played 31 games for the Dogs, Footscray, back in the day and he definitely helps me out a lot with my footy and over the years he's always been there to show me um, how it's done and how to be professional and how to make it at the top level, yeah. Seeing a few of his retro games on the TV, which were packed in the planner section of our Foxtel box, I think he was always good to watch. And he's always quick to show us some footage of his games. And um, I think just seeing how he played at the top level, it's, he's always just been an inspiration of mine and a hero of mine, and I always look up to him. Murphy goes at it. Jamison, who's had plenty of ball in this first quarter. De Conning being Vic Country's best. I've always loved footy and the game and just what it means and it's so pure and all the skills and all the unique things you can bring to the game so I just love the game so much obviously taking a lot from my brother and my dad now and going forward it's a, a huge dream of mine and hopefully at the end of the year my name gets read out.